All right, real quick, I want to show you the triphase oscillator from New Systems Instruments. This thing's really cool. Three uh, identical sawtooth waves that are all at the same pitch. So you have one one volt per octave and one FM input for the uh, the tone control, basically. Um, and then here are our three oscillators. They each have their own output, and then there's a mix output. So we're gonna look at the mix output, um, and it will be showing up here uh, as the yellow waveform on the Mordax data. Um, so basically what you have here is um, a bipolar CP3 type mixer that will give rich waveforms at the output. So by blending in a wave with a positive polarity, you reinforce in-phase harmonics, and then blending in a wave with a negative polarity, you reduce the in-phase harmonics. So let's just check that out really quick. We'll turn one saw wave up, just got a real simple sequence going into it. Now if I take the mix for the uh, second oscillator and turn it down to the negative range, if you get the phases just right, you get some phase cancellation. Or you can combine them. Here I can take the third one. But where it really starts getting fun is when you start messing with the phase of each oscillator. So I have them all just all the way up in the positive range. And of course, there is a CV control for all of these. So. I've got some LFOs running from the new system's quad LFO, some of those going into a follower on the Shape Dual Envelope VCA. Just got a lot of really fun modulation happening here. So let's just put some of those in there. As you can hear, we get some really, really cool textures going. And how you have them mixed is going to affect, affect the sound, of course. And I got a really fast one going into the, uh, the FM. So this is a really, really simple patch, um, but I just wanted to show you the basics of this oscillator. I'm still wrapping my head around it, but I am having a lot of fun. So now I'm using the, um, the dedicated outputs and running them into some uh, VCAs from the Shape Dual Envelope VCA and the Envelope VCA from um, for a mess. So let's just turn the, uh, the mix down. So that was the mixed output. Now I'm going to take each individual output, the one, two, and three, put them into some VCAs, uh, the Shape Dual Envelope VCA and just the Envelope VCA here from 4MS. The two from the Shape Dual Envelope VCA I'm going to put into the Dual Looping Delay, also from 4MS, and then the other one will have no effect on it. So let's just start with one. So there are three different um, oscillators, and now I'm going to bring the mix up that does not pass through a VCA. Again, a very, very simple patch, but I just wanted to show you uh, kind of the nuts and bolts of the triphase oscillator. It is super fun. Um, I've made some really cool stuff with it so far, and uh, hopefully I will be sharing that with you sooner than later. But I just, again, wanted to give you the, the stripped down, real basic explanation of how this thing works, but you can get into all sorts of really fun territory.